ideas using digital tools and web-based solutions to encounter social problems in Asia. Social Innovation Camp it started in UK and now it is in Asia. From 140 ideas down to 6 ideas and Gadget Nation is here today to witness who comes out on top at Social Innovation Camp Asia. I come across this gorgeous sculpture in the middle of nowhere. I'm not sure what it is. I take a picture of it. Basically, in a nutshell, um, Bookbug is a web platform wherein people uh, meet schools or stu uh, students uh, who are uh, privileged enough to have used textbooks can share their used textbooks to those people who are in need. So basically the, this website meets the supply and demand of used textbooks. So um, in terms of challenges in the past uh, 48 hours, we felt that as a team, we felt that uh, one of the challenges would be uh, funding. Uh, if we are going to start up this uh, social enterprise, uh, we believe that uh, more on funding but we see that uh, we'll be able to find funding, hopefully, from support coming from the government, uh, from foundations. Then, on the other hand, um, develop, developing this website, but I think um, through tapping different uh, resources, we'll be able to come up with a website. And then, what else? Um, I think more mar marketing campaign, uh, bringing in awareness uh, to other people so that they can support our cause for this uh, book bag. Then moving forward, uh, we're looking at uh, scaling, in, uh, scaling up this uh, social enterprise. Hopefully, um, um, we can also apply this to other countries. And, but we're going to focus, uh, first of all, initially in the Philippines. Hi, I'm Karen from Labret. So what is new about us, um, we are essentially saving lives and these are lives that nobody wants to save. There is no market for it and we are coming from a, we're tapping into a very new market, um, the online, offline crowdfunding and I think it's a great potential and there's so much that we can tap into it and people should know more about this, they should be aware of the um, awareness of existence of rare diseases in our country. And then the second question will be, what has been the main challenge when you're building this product, this service? Learning about business, being trained as a scientist and working as a teacher, this is completely out of my sphere at all. And having to work with everybody, so many people from different, different expertise, um, and learning that there's so many ways that we can take to lead to one destination, and you have to be able to learn how to make the best decision, make use of everybody's resources, um, and pick the best one. I'm Joel Berkez. I'm from the Blood Donors Network. And I myself is a blood donor. And I have seen the problem with regards to the supply of blood, especially in the Philippines. So with this, uh, we're able to uh, uh, have uh, conceived to something should be done uh, to be able to uh, increase or at least mitigate the, the blood supply in the Philippines. So um, we look up uh, a social media to make, uh, come up with an awareness campaign through social media as well as um, um, sponsor more blood drives program uh, in partnership with the hospitals, with the uh, government, as well as uh, uh, with the corporations, true CSR, corporate res uh, social responsibility. That app 
Fashion actually is a mobile app that, we want, that makes learning about sex fun and rewarding through games. Why we want to do that? Because we, we know teenagers actually like, they want to know about sex, they are yeah. curious. And what we do is that we want to provide them a safe and convenient method for them to assess the valid information on sex education. And that's that app. I'd like to add that that app is actually an informative place whereby people inform, people get informed about the knowledge required because you feel that Malaysia, sex is a taboo and in order to curb the taboo is to provide people with knowledge and that but through the government and through schools they find that sex is a very um, close subject so therefore we want to make this app more open. We are able to engage more better crowds and be able to get a, a higher percentage of reduction in maybe teenage pregnancy per se. Uh, I'm Vinny from uh, Golden Gate Ventures based out of Singapore. Uh, it's been a great weekend. Uh, my takeaway is that some pretty amazing teams came together. Uh, basically went from zero to 100 miles per hour in about 50 hours. Uh, and I really hope that all the teams, uh, especially the one, one, but all the teams continue doing this afterwards. We are astoundingly excited to come to, uh, to Southeast Asia and do our first social innovation camp here in Malaysia. And we are hoping to come back next year with a bigger and more expanded program. So watch the space for details. To be quite honest, I think the craziest idea, which I, th which I think still just might work, uh, was the one here, the Rare, Gen the Rare Genomics uh, Asia uh, idea. I think they've really hit on something that's, that's really exciting. Um, and I, I actually, strangely, I used to work in personalized medicine about six years ago. Um, and it's, I, I know that the, the, the cost of these things are falling and it's, it's really critical. And, it's, and, and finding unique genes and finding unusual and unique genes is, can be gold for researchers. And it's, it's the sort of thing that you never know what's going to come out. Um, so it could, it could be a whole lot of work, um, but they could just uh, ha have an incredible success at some point in the future. And I fully believe, having worked with, women, uh, with, the, with uh, Karin, who ran it over the weekend, um, I fully believe that she's, going to, that she's going to push this forward and have some pretty astounding results. Uh, I think it was a... I know it's a good camp. Uh, I think all the six ideas... One thing I like about this camp is that all the six ideas have impact and have potential uh, to sustain itself. Uh, and I think all, all the idea owners behind the six, uh, six ideas are the right idea, idea owners. Uh, and I'm happy to be able to provide a platform uh, for Malaysians uh, and also for people around the region. So if they have an idea that they want to launch and it makes a difference in people's life, whether it's healthcare or whether it's uh, poverty or whether it's anything else. Uh, and I think we have accomplished that in some small way and hopefully uh, next year we can build on it. And also, I think for me, as I can major is a small part, but. Uh, I think we need many, many more small parts, uh, but hopefully we can contribute to society, but also make it sustainable at the same time.